Hi guys, I needed to go to the gas station and Ryan just left with, um, an er, not Angel, oh gosh, just left with Jax because Jax goes everywhere with Ryan and Mitzi was crying and upset so I figured I'd take her out for a little bit. We're just going to go to the gas station and also, um, I haven't done this, I just wanted to get out of the house a little bit. I'm going to take you guys up and show you Lover's Leap somewhere in Hannibal. There's a whole theme to it. And take you up by the lighthouse because why not? So a little outing. I'm not going in anywhere. Just going to show you a few things in my little town while I get Mitzi out of the house for a little bit. Because Jax gets to leave all the time. Mom takes Mitzi places too sometimes. But it's just too hard for Jax to take two dogs. So uh, me and Mom take Mitzi out. And <laughs> she sits in the back window of Mom's car. So it's really funny. But she's a good girl. And we're going to go to the station and get some Red Bull. And then take you guys up by Lover's Leap and the Lighthouse here in Hannibal. So that is what we're going to do for now. And I also want to talk to you guys about my upcoming role play. My little, my little baby, my second baby I ordered should actually be here tomorrow. Um, so I'm probably going to do my role play with that baby. And I am super excited. I've been working on it and it is so funny. I think it's funny. Some people probably won't think it's funny, but... I have a weird sense of humor, um, <laughs> and I'm very, very excited about it. So we will talk about that a little bit more. So we're going to go and get this party started. Mitch, you ready? Mitzi, you ready, girl? All right. One sec. Guys. Okay, guys. So I am done at the station, and first I'm going to take you guys up. Um, the lighthouse here um, has thousands of stairs you can actually start from the bottom and uh, walk all the way to the top it's part of the whole mark twain type of thing but obviously we are not doing that i have done it as a teenager and as an adult but it about killed me so um i'm just there's also a road you can take up but the last part of it is like uh four flights of steps so i'm just probably going to zoom in to show you the lighthouse but um I wanted just to give Mitzi a little time out because I think she gets jealous that Jax, because Jax goes everywhere with Ryan, but um, Mitzi cries and it breaks my heart, so that's why um, I had to go out and get Red Bull anyway, so I was like, I'm just going to take her with me, but anyways, guys, as we're driving up to the lighthouse, I am, like I said, I am super, super excited to do this role play, and yeah, some people may think that it's not not like proper to do it but it's all for fun it's all just you know light-hearted fun um <laughs> i am both people in the um in the role play um so i'm very excited i cannot wait to put it up i think it's going to be hilarious uh some may take offense, but whatever, you know, it's just all out of fun, good times. But that will be up in the next couple of days. I'm driving up a huge hill. Hold on. I'm driving up this huge hill to the lighthouse now. And there it is. Look at that beautiful picture. I love this lighthouse. I used to hang out at this lighthouse with my ex-girlfriend a lot. It was kind of like our spot. We used to take a little blanket and sit up there by it, but... There it is, and there's the last flight, but there's, you see all them flights of step? There's like 15 to 20 sets of that many to get up here from the um, bottom part, but um, they recently redid it. They recited it and stuff a few years ago, so it looks a lot better than it did when I was a kid, but isn't that pretty? So there is our lighthouse in Hannibal. Let's see if I can zoom it a little. There's actually over here by the steps, if you go in there when I was a kid, a teenager, um, if you go on the outside of the steps and go around, there's like a little cave. We used to hang out there like around and then like about like by the third, you see that sign right there underneath that is a big cave that all of us teens used to sit there and talk and like, yeah, so let's, all right, there we go. Beautiful, huh? I love it. It's so pretty. But yeah, so that is our lighthouse in Hannibal, Missouri. And I just wanted to show you guys. Pretty cool, huh? 
I love lighthouses. I am. I have always had a dream to like travel the world and go see as many lighthouses as possible. I think that would be absolutely amazing because um, they're all so different and I think they're all so uniquely beautiful. But yeah, I've seen quite a few. I have traveled quite a bit, but not near as much as I would like to. So yeah, all right, now we are off to Lover's Leap and I will explain that more once we get there. Okay. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick. We are near Lover's Leap, but look at that house built on the side of Lover's Leap. Isn't that beautiful? That was just built a few years ago and it's on the side and it is an absolute beautiful house, but I wanted to show you. Okay, so here is the road to Lover's Leap. It is a huge, huge, huge hill. We used to come up here as kids a lot. There's a bunch of caves up here also. We used to hang out in all the caves and yeah. All right, so let's interrupt. There's the sign, Lover's Leap. All right, here we go. Ready, Mitzi? I'm gonna get Mitzi out for a little bit to show you guys. It's just a big old um, lookout spot, basically. But it is called Lover's Leap. It's a huge hill, and there's the opening to the house I just showed you. Um, it's so beautiful. It's only been up here a couple years. It's a pretty sure it's a doctor's house. Um, but, oh, there's a car, but there's the house. I don't know if you can see it right there. Okay. Back to the hill. Is there people up here? Oh gosh, yes, there's people up here. Ugh. All right, here it is. And I wanted to tell you guys the story and stuff, but there's people here, so I might be a little embarrassed to talk while I'm, well, it don't matter, but look how beautiful. It's a big old lookout point. And the peak is over there. I will walk over there and show you guys, but I want to actually read you that sign right there also. So I'm gonna get Mitzi out, and I will be back in just one second. Okay guys, the first thing, this is the three boys that was lost in the caves up here, and they were never found, I'm gonna read it. Craig Dow, Joey Hogue, and Billy Hogue. On May 10th, 1967, three adventurous boys exploited these hills in the footprints of Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer, only never to be seen again. Craig, Joey, and Billy will be remembered by rescue teams who came from coast to coast to solve the disappearance. These boys are dearly missed and loved by their families and friends. We will never be for we will never be forgotten by all. This historical monument also reflects the love of the community and the nation who helped in the search. So that's one part of it. And then come on, Mitzi. You're strangling yourself, baby. There you go. I'm sorry, baby. Come on. All right, come on, Mitzi. Okay, here is the legend of Lover's Leap. It says while the story varies according to the teller of the story, the main elements are that an Indian brave and an Indian princess from warring tribes were prevented from marrying by their parents and tribes. One evening when the Indian brave landed his canoe in Bear Creek, he was observed meeting and walking with an Indian princess. A treacherous observer revealed this to the father of the Indian princess who was the chief of the tribe. The angered father offered an otter skin to anyone who would kill the brave. A number of the younger warriors started after the brave. When the couple realized they were being chased, they, they climbed Lover's Leap, hoping to elude their pursuers. Cornered on the rock prominent, the brave knew he was about to be killed. The princess also realized this and decided that life would be, not be worth living if he were killed. The two embraced and threw themselves off the top of Lover's Leap to their deaths. Lover's Leap is thus of a memorial to these two young Indians who sacrificed their lives rather than be apart, according to the legend. Written by Hurley and Roberta Haggard. Haggard. So that is the story of Lover's Leap, and I will show you the, leap, the um, where they jumped. It used to be a lot bigger, but a lot of the rock has fell off. When I was a kid, it pointed way out there, but now it's much lower. There didn't used to be a fence here. We used to go out on the tip of the rock like stupid little teenagers. But they recently, well, about 10 years ago, they put up the fence, but this used to be a lot bigger. It stuck out a lot further. Sorry about the wind, guys. There's not much I can do about it. There's where they jump. This is a true story. And it is high, guys. It is very high. But there is the Mississippi River. 
and there is the town of Hannibal. Oh, let's go read this flag thing over here. Mitch, you gotta stop pulling, baby. Okay, on September, oh, this is for September 11th. On September 11th, 2001, an act of hate changed our lives, but amidst the horror of these moments, we, we, we dedicate this flag to America. over there. That's where we just was. Uh, lighthouse. Let's see if I can zoom up. Sorry guys, this is not going to be great because the wind's blowing and it's making it blurry. Mitt, slow down. Stop pulling, baby. Okay. So yeah, this is the little town of Hannibal, Missouri. <laughs> Stay with me, Mitt. Stop pulling, baby. Uh, I don't have a collar on her because she has a, um, <coughs> she has a skin condition and it irritates her skin really bad. So there is the town of Hannibal, guys. And like I said, that's the Mississippi River. Uh, I think like five years ago, a, a woman was up here visiting Lover's Leap. Two women, actually, and it was right here. She, and there was no fence. <laughs> And um, she went to back out and push the gas instead. And they was down there stuck in a tree. The car went over and then landed in a tree. Thank God they didn't go further. And they was just hanging there. And then they got rescued. They was fine. But that would have been absolutely crazy. But, yeah. So that is all of Lover's Leap, guys. All right. We're going to get back home now. We, I used to go mushroom hunting in these uh, woods um, a lot. But all right, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Mitt, you got to stop pulling when you walk, baby. She can't have a collar. What I was trying to say, she can't have a collar on because she has a skin condition. She... Uh, she breaks out on, under her neck if we leave a collar on her. But she's got to learn to stop pulling because it takes and tightens that. But anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, Mitt. Of um, Lover's Leap and the Lighthouse. And I will talk to you all soon. All right, bye, guys. Mitzi, you have fun? Did you have fun, Mitts? Huh? <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Going down this hill. I just wanted to come back on to go down this hill. Is very scary. I used to be scared to get death of this as a teen. It was my dad's. Um, I need to put that up instead of leave it in the window. My dad's uh, car because he's in a wheelchair. But anyway, yeah, this is a huge hill. It probably don't look like it as a recording. There's that house. It is absolutely beautiful. Lover's Leap 300. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so that is all. We're going to go ahead and head home. Uh, yeah. I can't believe I walked this as a teenager. <laughs> it would kill me now to try to walk this. But All right, guys. Bye for the third or fourth time. <laughs> all right. Yay. <laughs> Bye, guys.